People, we need to stop complaining about the lack of stage manager support on older iPad models, particularly the iPad Pro. What's going on YouTube? iPad OS 16 has unleashed the M1 iPad Pro with amazing features such as external display support and stage manager, which allows for eight applications to be ran simultaneously across two displays. Pretty sweet, but there's been some pushback about the lack of support on older models. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain why we need to stop complaining. So hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell as we cover all things iPad Pro, Pro Audio, and Apple Talk. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. Okay, so before we get started, if you like the music in today's video, check out the link down below for Upbeat, the best subscription service for creators looking for dope music for the videos. I use them in all my videos, but I'm not here to waste your time. Let's dive right in. So this is a simple case of you cannot both have your cake and eat it too. You know we gotta kick it off with some philosophy. Yes, we have been complaining, myself included, that the iPad Pro was iPad OP. It was just overpowered, especially in the hardware department. It was capable of so much more than the software was enabling it to do. And this was never more clear than with the M1 iPad Pro. You had a mini LED XDR display that rivaled the $6,000 Pro display XDR. You had 120 hertz refresh rate on that bad boy with an M1 chip, eight to 16 gigabytes of RAM, a Thunderbolt port for crying out loud. I mean, this thing, was a Mac in tablet form. But with lack of pro features and pro software, it left the iPad feeling oddly crippled and unable to do all that it seemed like it was screaming to do. Now, thankfully, Apple heard us, they responded, and in 2022 with iPad OS 16, we got the first part of the answer to all of our prayers, which is stage manager and external monitor support. Now, finally, the software was capable of pushing the hardware near to its limits. So then, of course, naturally, we got some complaints saying, look, why don't the older iPads, certainly the iPad Pros, why don't they have stage manager and external monitor support? Well, let me stop you right there because I really think it comes down to not realizing just how pro these two features are. So let me break it down. Start with external monitor support. Now this is the first of its kind on an iOS device. Yes, iOS devices have been able to put out to a monitor, but it's only ever been mirroring or it will turn the iPhone or iPad display black and cast something like Netflix to an external monitor when you plug in. Never has it been able, any iOS device, been able to split two separate video feeds. That's enabled with something as powerful as the M1. Now you may be saying, well, the other A-series chips in the 2018 iPad Pro, they could probably do that. Well, check this out. It's 4K resolution and up meaning that the iPad not only has to run its own display, which at least for the 2018 iPad Pro would be 120 hertz, right, retina display, it would have to run that at full speed while supporting up to a 60 hertz 4K panel. Now for the M1, it can run a XDR 120 hertz mini LED panel while going up to a 6K Pro Display XDR at 60 hertz via the Thunderbolt cable. So the, now you're starting to see where even the 2018 iPad Pro would start to tire out just running both of those. Forget any serious applications, it has to output two Ultra HD high definition signals at extremely high refresh rate, 60 and up. So that's the display part. Now talking about Stage Manager, yes, then it has to be able to run eight applications at the same time. At the same time, not in background mode, not dormant somewhere like when we're switching apps on our iPhone, no. Simply live clicking between eight different apps and that could be your LumaFusion, Pixelmator, you could be running YouTube, you could be running iMovie at the same time, you could be running Safari and remember Apple is dedicated to that buttery smooth Apple-esque performance. They don't want any lag or anything like this so if you're talking about pushing these chips to the brink, I think Stage Manager with external monitor support, we don't give it credit for just how much is being achieved here. And I think even skeptics at this point would at least say, yeah, the 2018, 2020 iPad Pro models probably couldn't keep up with what the M1 is doing on iPad OS 16. And so that's why, once again, we cannot have our cake and eat it too. We can't cry and complain that the iPad is so OP. And then when they finally give it software to push that hardware to the we're like, oh, why can't that software run on worse hardware? It doesn't make any sense. And so I think this is the right direction for iPad. This is what we've wanted the whole
whole time and I'm so excited and thank you to everybody who's been supporting these videos as we really push uh, for that iPad and the iPad Pro in particular to become all that it's meant to be, all that Steve Jobs envisioned it would be, which is that single slab of glass, maybe foldable, that can replace every device in your house. Your phone, it can run iOS and all the apps you have. You can be your laptop plugged into a case. It can be a desktop put on a stand, uh, you know, what have you. It's the one device to rule them all. So if you like that kind of content and if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button and of course, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss. Once again, as we cover all things iPad Pro, Apple Talk and Pro Audio, I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show.